Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are enjoying the new updates I've made to the design and features here. A little while ago, one of my teammates asked me about how to get the most out of robots and weapons. Imagine being down to barely any health in a game, cornered by stronger robots. How do you survive, or at least put up a good fight? And if you have more health, how do you maintain it while dishing out damage? I'm going to do a few videos talking about how to get the most out of different robots and weapons, and today I'm starting off with the aphid. The aphid was originally designed to be sort of a hit and run weapon. Unless you're using a leo or a griffin, it's usually not a good idea to go charging into the heat of battle with aphids. They work best on stealthy cover based robots like the Patton and most light robots. Before, I used to love the aphid, but then I wasn't doing enough damage. A lot of my missiles got deflected or even missed the target entirely. So I studied how other players use their aphids against other players and against myself. And after a few weeks, I tried again using what I had learned. And I got right back to killing rhinos, galahads, and lancelots with ease. Here are my tips for getting the most out of aphids. First, focus on the angle. I've discovered that aphids miss very easily if you fire straight ahead, meaning with your crosshairs aimed directly at the target. It makes sense, especially if the target is moving. The trick is to rotate just a little bit ahead of the target if it's in motion. This way the aphids are moving in unison with the target and they meet at the same point. If the target isn't moving, try angling the aphids anyway. It actually still improves your accuracy, and they have a higher chance of making contact if the target tries to move away. Second, consider firing the aphids individually instead of all together. Sure, sending a massive barrage of missiles at a slow target is fine, but what if you're after a smaller, faster robot, or one with an energy shield? This is where individual fire makes a big difference. Smaller robots change position much more quickly than larger ones. Aphids are a guided missile system, meaning that they lock onto a target and track its position. When you fire, the aphid is trying to hit that specific position, and smaller robots may be long gone by the time it hits that spot. The trick is to rotate your screen to follow the small robot, and fire individually. That way, each aphid has a new position locked in as it tracks the robot. Even if the first one misses, as you get a better feel for the speed and direction the target is moving in, you might get a hit or two, versus a complete miss. For energy shields, individual fire has a different advantage. When the shield is full, it may be better to fire all together so you drain it, but when it has low power, try firing one at a time. That way, the first aphid depletes the shield entirely, while the last few actually hit the targeted robot. Energy shields still protect at low power, so if you fire at a robot with low enough health for you to destroy, its little bit of energy shielding will still absorb all of your aphids before being depleted. That's why you can't destroy a robot with an energy shield by firing all of your aphids at once. Finally, Keep moving and stay behind cover. If you camp out in the open, you're a sitting duck. Aphids are terrible direct close combat weapons since they have a relatively long reload and don't fire straight. They also don't do splash damage like other missile weapons, so you'll be at a huge disadvantage against Tyrans, Orkins, Magnums, Pinatas, everything. If you have to go out in the open to find a new place, scan the area to make sure none of your enemies are too close to you. And as you move, try to stay out of their range. If you're faced with missile weapons, try moving slightly backwards as you move, since this helps reduce the splash damage you take from them. I hope these three tips help you get the most out of your aphids. I'll be back soon with more advice on maximizing your weapons and robots. I'll see you all later.